Bent Heavens by Daniel Krauss. Liv circled around the final tree, her teeth clenched in expectation of blood. It could be a possum or a bobcat. She choked up on the branch. The animal might yet wiggle free. It might be chewing through the last tendon now. She held her breath, leaned to see better, and stepped into a clearer view. It wasn't a squirrel or a possum or a bobcat. It was larger, much larger. This one is Daring Darlene, Queen of the Screen by Anne Nesbitt. Fabulous female characters, tender friendships, a fascinating setting, and a page-turning plot all in one. Anne Nesbitt has a brilliant lightness of style that makes the whole book sparkle. That's from Anne Braden, author of Benefits of Being an Octopus. This is How to Be by Bren McDibble. Children's Book Council of Australia Book of the Year. Young Readers, Patricia Wrightson Prize for Children's Literature, New Premier's Liter Literary Award, Esther Glenn Award for Junior Fiction, New Zealand Book Awards. Sometimes bees get too big to be up in the branches. Sometimes they fall and break their bones. This week, both happened, and Foreman said tomorrow we'll find two new bees. Iggy's World by Gail Anderson Dargatz. Iggy comes from a famous family, well, sort of. His dad directs a cheesy sci-fi web series, his mom writes for it, and his sister has a successful YouTube channel. Iggy doesn't have the acting bugs, so he feels like an outsider. Wanting to prove himself, Iggy starts his own podcast about what interests him, insects. But it's not until Iggy embarrasses his sister on air that his podcast really takes off. He's thrilled with his own success, but then she fires back. Now it's all-out war.